Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk. Now, do you need to double cleanse when wearing no sunscreen and or makeup? And a short answer is no, your regular gel or foaming cleanser will be able to take it off. So if you just go by your usual morning and or evening skincare routine where you may want to use a toner, serum, oil and or moisturizer and throughout the day work with a chemical sunscreen or lightweight makeup that isn't pigmented or waterproof, you can work with your regular cleanser to take it off the skin. And I want to share with you a little demonstration so that you can see this visually as well. The only occasion where you may want to do a double cleanse or primarily want to work with an oil or balm cleanser is if you're using a mineral sunscreen because your regular cleanser won't be able to take it off and or waterproof makeup heavy makeup or even pigmented makeup then using an oil or balm cleanser will be able to break it down in a very gentle manner so you do not have to rub harshly over the skin and then either use your oil or balm cleanser on its own which is completely fine so it's going to afterwards leave a protective layer all over then go ahead and just leave it as it is or if that's going to bother you then this is where you can do your double cleanse because because you then would use your oil balm cleanser at first and then head into your regular gel or foaming cleanser to take that protective layer off the skin and then continue with your usual skin routine. And usually you would use a double cleanse in your evening skin routine or let's say when coming back home from school or work whenever you want to wash the face then in the late evening or afternoon. And so I want to share with you now a little demonstration where I'm going to apply the Zoman moisturizer on one side if that would be kind of like your skin routine that you're heading into to then the chemical sunscreen on the other side and the mineral sunscreen on my forehead so that you can see where your regular cleanser is able to take it off and what are the limits and how you then can do it instead. So on one hand I'm just going to go now with a serum. Of course you would apply this then primarily all over your face and when doing this for example in the morning you have to remember that the products are going to stay on the skin for the entire day and then you would use the dump or basically do like washing the face part or the double cleansing part in the late afternoon in the evening so your skincare products and then you maybe your sunscreen and or makeup has been on the skin for several hours where most of it has already rubbed off or absorbed into the skin therefore it comes off even like easier compared to now what I'm doing because we're just applying the products immediately to the skin and then taking them off this is usually the trickiest part because it hasn't had the time to set but I still want to share with you the demonstration so I have applied a moist, like serum and moisturizer on one side. Now I'm going to head into the chemical sunscreen or a mixture of chemical and mineral. Usually those sunscreens come off quite easily. So therefore there is no double cleansing needed. Just use your regular cleanser. And you will see this in a moment as well. And now on my forehead, I'm going to get into the mineral sunscreen. So now I have uh, three examples that I now want to take off with the regular gel or foaming cleanser. So usually if you're working with a regular cleanser, you would wet your face, use a bit of the cleanser, massage it all over and then rinse it off with water. And that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to primarily start off with the cheeks and then heading towards the forehead. Now, as you can see, it is able to take it all off by just using a regular cleanser. So there's no need to do the double cleanse. Just using one cleanser that's suitable for your skin type is enough. And now for the forehead, this is the trickiest part because your regular cleanser won't be able to break through your mineral sunscreen. And you may experience the same situation depending on the, ma the makeup that you are wearing, where you can see that it's not going to do anything. It's basically just kind of like sitting on top of the mineral sunscreen. It's not going to move in any way around. And so this is now the difference between the chemical sunscreen or your like regular skincare routine without sunscreen and makeup and then the mineral sunscreen. Screen. And so in that specific case, your oil or balm cleanser will be able to break through this and this is where it becomes essential to work with such products. But there is another alternative which may work as well, but I wouldn't recommend it because I'm not entirely sure how well it's going to take it off the skin. Now I'm just going to rinse most of it off and then I'm going to show you the other alternative in case you do not have an oil or balm cleanser at home.
So you can see everything came properly off the skin, but the mineral sunscreen is still there. Now, in case you do not have um, primarily an oil or balm cleanser to take off your mineral sunscreen, there could be another alternative, but it's not my favorite method. I do have to say this as well, and this would be taking it off with those makeup cloths, those microfiber cloths. Those are extremely helpful. I always recommend them when I'm washing my face, since they can help you to take off any excess oil, dirt, sweat, even to some extent sunscreen and makeup. And so what you now could do, if you do notice that your regular cleanser isn't able to take off your sunscreen but you have such a makeup cloth at home go ahead wet it squeeze it out and then swipe across it it should be able to take it off so now i'm going to use the washcloth um, to remove the mineral sunscreen and you can see it is able to do it However, I'm not entirely sure how well it does this because there may be still some residue on it that I cannot see because I wasn't able to take it off with the regular cleanser. So using the washcloth may be one way in case you do not have an oil or balm cleanser and it may work well for you, but it isn't something that I would recommend because you have to rub over the skin quite harshly compared to if you just would take it off with an oil or balm cleanser. But it could be an alternative so that you have something in mind in case you do not want to get another cleanser. So this can work and the washcloth can in general be used for any cleanser, sunscreen and or makeup to take it off the skin to remove the residue all over, especially when doing this above the sink and you aren't able to get everything off by just splashing the water onto the skin, which is usually an issue when doing it above the sink, which may be different when doing this in the shower, but you should get the idea. So now I'm going to uh, rinse again and then pat the skin dry because then I'm going to apply the mineral sunscreen again and I'm going to show you how it can be broken down by just using an oil or balm cleanser, like how easy and effective this can be. So now I'm just going to take the mineral sunscreen and I'm going to apply it to the cheek so that you can see one example. So, and now I'm going to use the oil balm cleanser. Now, personally, I prefer to work with balm cleansers, but of course, if you like an oil cleanser, the same thing would apply. What's going to change is that you're going to apply your oil or balm cleanser to dry skin. So on top of your makeup and sunscreen to properly break it down. Otherwise, if you're going to wet the skin at first, then work with your oil or balm cleanser. It's just going to create a mess and isn't able to properly take it off the skin. So work on it with uh, like dry skin and then later on rinse it off. So I'm going to use now a balm cleanser and usually with balm cleansers you have to warm them up between your hands so they then turns into a transparent oil and then you can evenly and gently massage it all over your face and neck. Just going to use a bit less because I'm just using it for my cheek. Warming it up. And now I'm going to use it to massage it all over. And you can see the mineral sunscreen is going to move around. So the oil or balm cleanser is able to break through it, whereas your regular cleanser just was kind of like moving around on top of the mineral sunscreen. And here you can see that you can actually break through the mineral sunscreen. And the same would apply if you have like more stubborn or like a heavy makeup on or even waterproof makeup or extremely pigmented. Your oil or balm cleanser is usually extremely effective, yet you do not need to rub harsh over the skin. So, and now of course you could go ahead, splash again some water all over to take everything off, but you could also go ahead and use again your makeup cloth or your washcloth. Just make sure that it's a gentle one, that it not scratches your skin. So usually those microfiber cloths are extremely gentle. And then take everything off the skin. And this way you do not need to rub harsh all over. You just can gently, with a little bit of, of pressure, like remove everything from the skin. You could do the same by just splashing some water all over to then take it off and remove it with your hands. But again, a washcloth can be extremely handy. I cannot recommend it enough. 
because it's so versatile. So, and now once you have rinsed everything off, maybe use the washcloth in between and you're going to pat the skin dry, you can feel a more like protective layer on the skin surface. So if you do not mind it, you can stop right here if everything came off like beautifully, then you now can move on to either like nothing at all if you do not have a skincare routine that you follow, or you now can go ahead and move on to the next steps. But I wanna emphasize that if this is going to bother you, you're going to in between leave the skin wet. So you apply your oil or balm cleanser to dry skin, massage it all over, rinse it off with water, leave the skin wet, and then head into your gel or foaming cleanser and then massage it all over to take off the protective layer and maybe some areas that you have missed and then rinse it off and pat the skin dry. And this will be then the double cleansing part, which again may or may not be needed depending on what you have been using and if you like a protective layer or not. But overall, I do have such individual videos on my YouTube channel, which I'm going to leave at the end of this video. If you want to see a more detailed explanation when it comes to the different cleansing methods and when the like double cleansing is specifically needed. But with a little demonstration that I just shared with you in this video, we've learned that your regular cleanser is extremely effective as long as you're not working with a mineral sunscreen or a waterproof heavy makeup or even extremely pigmented makeup makeup. If that's not what you're using, well just work with your regular gel or foaming cleanser. That's more than enough. And if you like to use such a washcloth in between, this is something that I can highly recommend. And then there you go. The double cleansing isn't always necessary. You really need to adjust it uh, accordingly to the products that you're using. And so I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. If you now want to learn more about cleansing, again, I'm going to leave it at the end of this video and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!